everyone, I hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about spring workwear. So with the days getting that little bit warmer, I thought this is the perfect time for me to share some new outfits with you guys. So some of the pieces that you'll see today you will have seen featured in my previous workwear wardrobe that I will link below but I've also included some new additions that can be added to your existing wardrobe and all of these pieces as well you can wear outside of work too. I also want to advise you on the best fabrics to stay that little bit cooler in the spring months too. So I'm going to start with the first two looks and that features this lovely striped blue shirt from Lily Silk. So as you'll know from my previous videos, I have worked with them in the past and I love styling their products. So I've got a few older pieces of theirs that I'll be styling today as well. I also have a discount code to share with you today, which I'll pop on the screen now and this will give you 12% off on their website. So as I mentioned earlier, it's getting warmer now and silk is a great fabric to reach for this time of year because of its breathability and lightweight texture. And a blue striped shirt is a key staple in any wardrobe. You can wear this for work, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. So this shirt is made from 16 mom printed silk twill, which is kind on the skin and won't wrinkle easily. So it's perfect for workwear when you're tucking it into your trousers or your skirts. I especially love the fit of this shirt too. It's a regular relaxed fit, which I prefer. So it's perfect for work and wearing every day too. I'd even wear this on holiday as well with like linen trousers or a denim maxi skirt. It's just such a classic. So for today's first look, I've teamed it with this ivory maxi skirt, which is a great length for petite girls like me. You can style this look with ballet flats or loafers or equally, they look great with a sling back heel too. I've then added in this dark tan belt to complement the look. I love this buckle detail at the front it feels a little bit more looks than just a simple buckle and for a contrast of textures I've then teamed it with my woven dragon diffusion bag this look is perfect for those warmer spring days and also looks great teamed with trainers as well for a more casual feel and this is great if your office allows you to wear trainers because it's a great way to dress down the look as you can see there's a slit at the back of the skirts so this is really nice and easy to walk in it just feels super chic this look i really love how much the stripes pop against the ivory and also those tan accessories just finish off the look so on to look number two, and if you're more into styling darker trousers for work, then a navy pair is perfect to team with this striped shirt. So I've kept in the tan accessories as navy and tan is one of my favorite combinations for spring. And the white stripe in the shirt really makes the look pop when you team it with darker bottoms. And then it also allows you to go lighter with your footwear as well. So I've paired it with my cream ballet flats today, but you could also wear this look with loafers or trainers too. So to finish off the look, I've decided to pop my trench over the top for an extra layer. So this is great for those days where you're unsure what the weather's gonna be like. You just wanna go into the office wearing a really lovely shirt, but then you've got that extra layer for commuting as well. So onto the look number three, I've then selected this beautiful short sleeve sweater. I personally love a high neck, even in the spring, Months because it's still a little bit cooler but with the short sleeve it really gives a spring feel so if you want you can roll it down a little bit more like I've done here or you can sit it higher as a traditional roll neck. It's a great alternative to a shirt and it's really lightweight and soft so it's perfect for spring styling. So this one is made from 90% silk and 10% cashmere so as you can imagine it feels incredible on the skin it's so gorgeous and it is a really lovely fit as well and it tucks really nicely into trousers so for look three i've gone tonal and paired them with my ivory straight leg trousers i've then added in tan accessories and my cream ballet flats so you could also pair these with a sling back or loafers if you've got those two and then to finish the look, I've layered my trench over the top. I really love how fresh and clean this outfit is and neutrals for spring is always a good idea. So onto look number four and another way to style this sweater if you want to avoid wearing black is with gray. So gray, tan and cream is another color combination that I love to style for spring and it works really well for workwear too. So I've styled my gray tailored trousers for this look and gone tonal with the blazer to match the lily silk sweater. Again, I've paired the look with my cream ballet flats and a contrast tan toe bag. But trainers, loafers or neutral slingbacks would also work really well with this outfit. So on to look number five and six. And these next two looks are perfect for a desk to dinner look. So another top that I picked up from Lily Silk is this beautiful silk Georgette halter neck. So this is made from Georgette Mulberry Silk and is a great staple to add into your workwear. 
and evening wear wardrobe due to its soft and light texture. So I've teamed it with my ivory maxi skirt and kept it simple with black accessories and a black blazer. This is such a classic look from me. I'd wear this outside of work as well and it just feels really chic. So for the evening, you can swap over to a sling back heel Pop your blazer in your bag and you're ready for the evening. For look number six, I've then styled them with my trusty wide leg trousers and blazer to create a suit look. Again, I've kept it nice and simple with the styling and paired the look with my ballet flats. For the evening, I would then swap to a slim back and remove the blazer. This is very similar to look number five, but if you are more of a trouser wearer, then this is a great alternative for you. Again, these looks would pair beautifully for date night. You don't just have to wear them for work either but it just shows you how versatile they are to take you from a desk to dinner. On to look number seven, and this top is another piece from Lily Silk that I've had for a while now, and it always comes back out in the spring summer months. So this is the V-neck sleeveless silk shirt and is made from 100% mulberry silk. So it's really lightweight and breathable on the skin, which is perfect for those warmer spring days. It comes in a sleek and minimal design, which I obviously love and is a quality separate that you'll wear again and again. The v-neck detail also keeps it feminine whilst the collar adds a professional touch. So it's the perfect sleeveless shirt if you want to avoid wearing a long sleeved one. So today I've styled it with my black wide leg trousers from And Other Stories. I really love the fit of these and they're perfect for workwear. They just feel a little bit more tailored and more refined than my more relaxed black wide leg trousers. That's why I invested in these ones because then you can wear them into the evening as well. So again, I've created a suit look and styled it with my black blazer and cream ballet flats to really make the top pop. As a contrast, I've teamed it with my Ted Baker tote bag to add in a touch of tan with the cream and black. But if you have a plain tan toe, then that would pair perfectly with this look too. On to look number eight, and I've gone back to neutrals and paired this neutral stripe top with my tailored trousers. And I love the fit and fabric of these trousers. They're a cotton twill blend, so they're perfect to wear in the spring months. And they pair really nicely with this neutral stripe top. The wide neckline feels really chic and the long sleeves are great for the cooler days. I've then added in a tan belt, cream ballet flats, and finished the look off by layering my trench over the top. I actually wore this look last week in Edinburgh when we went out for brunch, so it's a great outfit for wearing out of work too. And it's a winner if you love styling neutrals and want to stay away from black. So on to look number nine, I've gone for another favourite combination of mine, and that is black and tan. As you know, I love styling all black with tan accessories all year round, but especially in the spring summer months. So this short sleeve shirt I've had for years now, and this is also from Lily Silk. It's made from crepe de chine silk and is wrinkle resistant. So it's perfect for work. I also really love the relaxed fit of this as well. So this is why it's something I always reach for season after season. So I've kept the look really simple and paired my tan belt, tan bag and tan loafers. I think this style of loafer looks great with tailored trousers like these and really breaks up the black while the bag adds texture to a simple look. So you can either style this with the blazer or without depending on how warm or cool it is. So onto look number 10. And for this look, I've swapped out the jackets and blazers for a cardigan. And I found myself reaching for this when working from home or heading out to a meeting. It's a casual piece, but the fit and minimal details really makes it feel smart. So as a contrast, I've put my white tee underneath to make the stripe detail at the front pop and paired them with my ivory trousers. I really love the fit of these straight legs with the turn up cuff detail at the hem. They feel really fresh and pair really well with ballet flats. They also equally look great with trainers as well. So for me, this is a great smart casual look. So if your office is a little bit more relaxed, but you still wanna feel really chic, then this is the outfit for you. So on to look number 11. I've kept it super simple and gone head to toe black. You just can't go wrong with head to toe black. And as you'll know from my trends video, spring summer black is a key trend and you all have black pieces in your wardrobe, no doubt. So this is gonna be really easy for you to do. So I've updated this look by swapping a shirt for a waistcoat as these are a great alternative to shirts in the spring months. They layer really nicely with blazers and then they can take you right into summer and be worn on their own. They're also such a great separate to style more casually outside of work too. And for the final look, I'm styling my cropped jacket again. You'll have seen this a lot on my channel recently and it's a great option to wear for work too. So I've gone for a combination of cream, camel and black today. 
I've kept the base layer simple and styled my black tee underneath and then paired it with my relaxed tailored trousers. These are from Riona and I love the fit of these. I've had them for a few years now, but they still sell them I think, so I'll link them below. They are a little long, so I'd style these with a slight heel personally, so bear that in mind if you are petite. This is another classic combination which is perfect for work and the contrast of the structured jacket and relaxed trousers really adds a modern feel to the look. These would also pair really well with ballet flats and trainers if you are a little taller than me, but bear in mind if you are petite, you may just need them taken up a little bit. So there we go guys, they were 12 spring work looks for you to try out. The great thing about these looks as well is that you can mix and match them with each other and hopefully you already have some very similar pieces in your wardrobe so then you can recreate these looks yourself. But I hope you found it helpful and as always I will link everything below and I'll see you all very soon for a new video.